people. Hi, I'm Carrie. This is uh, Makeup with No Mirror Challenge number eight, I think. And today we're taking on Tammy Faye Mesner, was actually the name uh, when she died. That was that was her last name because she got remarried. But you probably know her as Tammy Faye Baker. She was actually born Tammy Faye Lavalley. Uh, yeah, oldest of um, eight children. Both of her parents were preachers, like evangelical preachers. Yeah, so she wasn't allowed to wear makeup or dance or talk to boys or anything. So she certainly made up for the makeup part later on in life. We need to have a toast. A toast to us getting through these days with our sanity somewhat still intact. And cheers to you if you haven't hurt anyone's feelings today. Mm -hmm. It is 420, so do what you got to do. All right. So we'll start with the foundation, as always. She's one of those gals who painted in her eyebrows. So, and you can see in all of her makeup like that she's actually darkened. She hasn't totally committed to shaving her original eyebrows. She's just covered them up. <laughs> so I'm using this, I'm just gonna, you know what? I'm just gonna use this concealer. It's really thick and gross. I'm just gonna use it just for expedience sake because she wasn't shy with the makeup. I think she was being interviewed on um, RuPaul. RuPaul interviewed her and asked her, you know, when did she, what's with all of her makeup? What's with this love of makeup? And she explained that, yeah, as a, as a young girl, she wasn't allowed to have makeup. And finally at Bible college, uh, one of her friends took her into the bathroom stall and said, look, you got to wear some mascara. She goes, what's that? She hadn't even heard of what mascara was. It was your beautiful long eyelashes. And this, this stuff will just enhance your innate beauty. So she let her friend in the bathroom stall put some mascara on her and she's been, she was hooked ever since that day. Just hooked. I hope you can, I hope my eyebrows are a little concealed now. And we'll start just by painting and drawing in the skinny brown eyebrow she had right over. <laughs> so it's just permanently excited looking, excited for Jesus, happy here. There, I hope that's dark enough. Um, you know, while we have this brown pencil, I'm just going to go in and start to outline the eyes. Underneath. Oh, this stuff feels so creamy, that foundation. I hope everything is dark enough. I know. Won't know until the end, right? I'll use the liquid liner because I'm getting to be quite the pro at this. Liquid liner stuff. Oh, anyway, she met Jim, Jim Baker her husband at Bible college. They were 18 when they met, got married a year later. Okay. Get some good years. Um, she was a singer foremost, yeah. Okay, I loaded up my blush brush beforehand. There's tons of this under, cause she just went nuts with the blush. And most of it was kind of orangey, like a coral blush, which I don't have. Oh. Did you notice my, my, uh, my shoulders, my shoulder pads, <laughs> they keep slipping. I actually have um, shirts in a rolled up for my shoulder pads today. Yeah. Big in the eighties, right? She did everything big, big makeup, big clothes, big jewels. All right. So we'll call that the blush. And she loved her eyeshadow too. So we're going to go with these colors today. Rose colors, rose and gold. Why not? She's gonna go to town. So yeah, um, after Bible college, when she was married, her and Jim just toured around the states. He preached, and she sang and played the accordion. <laughs> I shit you not. Yeah, and then. Um, they actually had a spot on the Christian network or Christian broadcast network. They had a children's puppet show, like a, our Christian puppet show for kids. <laughs> they did for years. <gasps> Woo, I know these people. They're nothing if they were creative. And then that, that eventually led to like them ha you know, having their own show and taking over the networks, the network. They were the founders of the uh, Praise the Lord Club, PTL Club. 
anybody watch this stuff? Like anybody out there, any of you guys? Any of you raised with this kind of thing? I don't know if my makeup's going up to the eyebrow that I drew. So I'm just gonna put the this eyeshadow right on top of <laughs> the eyebrow of my own eyebrow and hope that I'm not covering up the one that I drew. There, how's that? Oh, you know what? I do love that white in the crease there, right at the corners. Okay. And now mascara. So what else do we, oh, and then of course there was the big scandal, so many scandals. Jim um, and Jessica Hahn. Jessica Hahn, does that ring, ring any bells to our 80s trivia folks out there? Jessica Hahn. Well, her and Jim canoodled and she charged him with rape or was going to charge him with rape, but then she was given $300,000 to shut up about it and uh, what she did he was never charged but it led to further investigations into their businesses they were multi-millionaires right at this point like they had so many different shows on and on these shows are asking people for money right money for the Lord money for this money for that it was all going into their own pocket anyway they were investigated and um, yeah so Jim was actually sentenced to 45 years in prison for all like numerous fraud counts and um, conspiracy to commit fraud as well so yeah he was sentenced to 45 years of which he only did like um, what am I doing? Sorry. of which he only did five but while he was in jail our Tammy Filed for divorce. And then a year later, took up with Ro West Westlin? Oh shit, I can't remember her last name now. Um and then her big eyelashes. Took up with this dude. And this dude was a land developer who helped them develop heritage. Oh, I made some notes. The heritage fucking USA, which is a resort and theme park that's for Christians. It like rivals Disney. This place is for, did I do this slide? I can't remember. Oh my God. I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, I'm just so excited to tell you all these fun facts about these scandalous people. Yeah, so they had this huge theme park. Anyway, so Jim goes to jail. She takes up with this row. Wes, Wesley, Wes, okay, I can't remember. I don't have it written down. Um, and they get married, he's a gazillionaire, but he ends up um, getting caught and sent to jail for um, um, bankrupt, can, can, a bankrupt fraud or something, bankruptcy fraud. Yeah, so she's single again for a few years, but she, sticks, she stays with him, sticks by him. And, um, oh, lips. She wasn't all that evil, really. She actually did some good. She had her own um, her own show where she interviewed people, and she brought on um, a gay Christian minister and interviewed him, who at the time had AIDS, and he had lost his partner to AIDS. And this was during the AIDS epidemic back in the 80s. And uh, her audience was pretty divided about that guest but she was a big believer that you know Christ wanted everyone wanted everyone to love everyone equally and to to not judge and to accept everyone for who they were and she believed that 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 should apply to 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 everybody so she was um, a big supporter of the LGBTQ community uh, even before it was labeled such uh, how are my lips oh you know what I didn't line them I think I just dropped my yeah I'll be right back. I have to go down and pick up my lip liner. This is a long one, isn't it? Babbling. Okay, we're gonna outline the list because she did that. There we go. Yeah, and she also had, um, she interviewed a couple of um, 
drug addicts too and recovering drug addicts. And she too did a stint in the Betty Ford Clinic for uh, prescription addiction. So she wasn't without fault at all, but um, she also um, actually believed in, in her, her talk and so, sort of walked her talk, I guess. But anyway, I think, I think this is the finished look. Yeah, um, anyway, I'm so glad that you came here to watch this show. I just, it just warms my heart and, and to know that uh, Jesus loves you just says he loves me and you know if you find it in your heart and in your wallet to maybe you know just even like two dollars makes a difference for the the makeup fund and uh, I would love to get some wigs too <laughs> no but seriously I'm just so glad you came and please take care of one another it just means the world to me that you're here with us with the Lord <gasps> yeah thanks God loves you God loves you bye see you tomorrow see you tomorrow